Tornadoes ripped across our viewing area yesterday and now people are left cleaning up the aftermath. In Tupelo, crews were out assessing damage and working to restore power to homes. Our Allie Martin is there. He joins us live with an update. Allie. Thank you. I'm here in Tupelo. We're here at Highland Circle. It's one of the oldest, if not the oldest, planned developments in the city. And what you're hearing and seeing behind me, you're going to be hearing and seeing a lot of this in the coming days. Uh, these crews are already working on uh, cutting a downed tree that has fallen across a yard and also uh, onto a truck here on Highland Circle. Of course, the good news in all of this is that there are no serious injuries. We can tell you last night as the tornado came through, right after it came through, there were about a thousand people, a thousand homes without power. That number has now been reduced down to 50. And uh, we were out and about getting some video this morning, and I think they're going to show some of that now. The video that you'll be seeing is from the Park Hill area, and this is typical of the damage across the city down trees, there was debris in the streets. All that has been cleared. As far as we know, there are no streets that are closed right now. Um, there are a lot of down trees, some down power lines. Like we said, the good news is there was nobody trapped in their homes. Police and fire were going street to street and house to house just to make sure that everybody was safe. And we can report that uh, there are no serious injuries. Now, we will be covering this story, of course, throughout the day. We're gonna talk to some homeowners we actually talked to some folks last night who rode through the tornado. They were in their homes as it came through. You're going to hear their stories coming up later today on WCBI News at noon, 5, 6, and 10. For now, we're in Tupelo Highland Circle. We're going to send it back to you in the studio.